Hello everybody. Welcome to Roundhouse Ranch Barbecue and Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm going to do a short, quick video today. Uh, don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. It'll be the first time I've ever done it. Today I'm going to smoke a block of cheddar cheese. Uh, as you can imagine, with cheese you got to be real careful with the temperatures. Uh, so we're going to give it a shot See, see how it works. Y'all come on with me, I'll show you how. Bye. Alright guys, for this smoked cheese, I'm going to be using just my regular old offset smoker. Just like that. You, you can see I got my thermometer, my, my temp probe in there, and all that. This firebox right here. I need to do some work on this door. But pretty simple oh wow I got some wood in there that didn't burn okay go ahead and pull that out we're not gonna need that yeah just like that we're gonna pull that out of, out of there oh sorry about the foggy lens uh, I'm gonna pull that out of there move some of these ashes and coals and stuff off to the side don't need them we can leave those coals there that'll be all right a little bit of leftover charcoal never hurt nobody. Alright. We're just going to take a little small handful of charcoal. Set it right there in the middle. Alright, now when you're smoking cheese, you can't get over 90 degrees in your, in your uh, smoker box because the cheese will melt. All right, so we're just gonna put just a little tiny bit of charcoal in there, just enough to get a little bit of heat going. And uh, we're gonna light that up, and once those, char once those coals are lit, I'm gonna take some mesquite chunks and just put them on top of those coals and let that breathe the smoke. And hopefully, if I do it right, our temperature in here won't ever get above 90. I'll go ahead and set the cheese over here on this end. And, uh... We'll smoke it for about four hours and see what happens. All right, guys. Here is my block of smoked Munster cheddar cheese. What I did was I simply took just a couple of uh, mesquite charcoal bri briquettes and put them in the firebox of my smoker. I got them good and hot, and then I just took some mesquite chips and put on those uh, hot coals and I kept the temperature inside the cooking chamber uh, right at 90 degrees 85 to 90 degrees it did dip down to 70 degrees a couple of times but I was able to ra raise it back up to about 90 degrees uh, left it on there for about four hours one thing I used to control the temp to keep it from going above 90 was uh, I, uh, I took a, a pan a little small loaf pan filled it up with ice and put it next to this cheese and that kept the temperature from going above 90 degrees uh, anyway the next step in this is to take it and put it in a ziploc bag and put it in the freezer for a couple of days to let that smoke flavor permeate into the cheese and basically get inside that cheese instead of going just on the outside uh, it, it will smooth the, the smoke flavor out and it will just make it a better smoked cheese but anyway I would say this is a, a uh, resounding success and if you like this video hit the like button hit the thumbs up, thumbs up button uh, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button if you're not already a su subscriber and feel free to share this video if you like it uh, I would also like to go ahead and give a shout out to Lassie's Food and Barbecue uh, he's a friend of mine and follower on the uh, on on this channel, and uh, I'd just like to give a shout out to him again. That's Lassie's Food and Barbecue. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. But he gave me some pretty good pointers in smoking this cheese. Uh, he was the one that gave me the idea to put the ice in the loaf pan to control the temperature, and we had a nice little discussion about the smoking of the cheese. So thank you, Lassie, and. Uh, Y'all go check out his channel. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. Merry Christmas.